Hey everyone, Kid Lego Legend here, and today I will be teaching you, or showing you, how I modded these two vehicles right here to be from this to this. So, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start off with the ATRT because I personally like my mod for the Bark Speeder best. So as you can see, I've shortened the legs, and by doing that, I've just taken these two pieces. I've just taken these two pieces, stuck them together um, on top of one another. Then I just took this grill piece right here, um, stuck it on here. And then this shortens the legs to the ATRT. Um, I tried to shorten it so it was a bit more minifigure scale, but as you can see, it's not that um, minifigure scale accurate. But um, on the back here, as you can see, I could not find another um, light gray piece, so I had to use a dark gray one, or dark bluish gray. But yeah, it just kind of shortens the legs to the ATRT. I guess if you really wanted them short, you could do like another one of these two, but I feel like that would be a bit too short. Now let's get into that gun. So as you guys probably know, um, LEGO did just use this stud shooter on um, this for the ATRT, and so that doesn't look very good. So what I did is I took two clips and I put them onto this gray piece instead of the stud shooter. Then I just put this um, gray pole piece on. And then I actually took another clip and put it on right in between there. And then, unfortunately, I couldn't find a light gray one of these, so I had to use black. But I took... Um, one of those pieces and put it on the bottom. I think that looks really good. This is my, my own personal mod, so this probably, I don't think it's super accurate. Um, ideally, that would be dark gray, but that's what I used for the mod for the gun. And there you have my not so many figure scale um, ATRT, although I think that mod for the gun does look pretty good in my personal opinion. Now let's move on to the bark speeder, which I think I did a much better job on. So again, Lego went ahead and used these stud shooters on this bark speeder, as you can see. It doesn't look too bad, but um, to me, it doesn't really look that good either. So what I went ahead and, and did was modded these so they were like, they looked like actual guns. So what I did is I took this whole part off, which um, has the stud shooter, and then I just yanked that stud shooter off, and I took one of these pieces and I put it on the end here and that makes it look like an actual gun on there and then if you take our bark speeder you will move this up one so the gun is actually like ha on that last stud and then to me that personally looks a lot better you can not actually move it up and down but um, to round it off you could put a black cheese slope on this part just to kind of finish the look. Then you do that on both sides. And boom, you've got yourself a bark speeder with some very realistic looking guns um, that can move up and down with some pretty simple pieces. Unfortunately, I just didn't, um, I couldn't really see a way how I was going to shorten this bark speeder because it is pretty long but I figured I'd go ahead and show you those mods for the guns on the bark speeder I personally think that this looks amazing um tell me what you guys think in the comments section below of my mods to these vehicles I will be doing a video on modding the AAT so stay tuned for that um 
But tell me what you guys think of my mods in the comments section below. Are you going to be modding these vehicles or just keeping them the same? Um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.